Good afternoon, everyone, and uh, welcome to Google Developers Live. My name's Reda Meyer. I'm the tech lead for the Android Developer Relations team. And today, I have the very great pleasure of interviewing Hiroshi Lockheimer, VP of Engineering for Android, and Hugo Barra, VP of Product for Android. So uh, congratulations on a great keynote yesterday. A lot of really exciting news for developers that we all heard. I think probably the most exciting thing uh, which developers have been talking about uh, to me is the new Android Studio IDE. Can you tell us a little bit more about uh, what meditated those changes? You know, why have we gone in this direction and what's the sort of future there? Yeah, so as, as we said yesterday, uh, we're listening. Th this is one of the most common pieces of feedback that we get from developers is that they want more options. Uh, there's a lot of people who love Eclipse and will be you know, Eclipse diehard fans for the rest of time, but there are people Absolutely. who want uh, different options. There are people who are using IntelliJ already um, in, the, in the community, so we thought, why don't we you know, join forces with JetBrains uh, and starting from their community edition product, which is open source, can we build something that's even more customized uh, to Android developers? Uh, and I think we're, we're there with this sort of early preview, but there's so much more to come. Yeah, no, it's, it's really exciting time, I think. Uh, from a developer perspective, it's great to have this whole suite of tools that we can use, uh, depending on whatever your preference is. So it's, uh, it'll be exciting to see how that continues on. Um, one thing which we get, tend to get asked a lot, and it'd be interesting to get your uh, opinion on this, is do you think we're ever going to get to a point where we can all sit down with an Android device to do our Android app development? Self-targeting. Yes. Like being able to compile. Exactly. On the, device, on the device, open up your Android, start writing some code, deploy it to yourself. Yeah, that'd be a cool feature. What do you think? Uh, that would be pretty cool. It's a hell of a project. <laughs> I want to see Hugo doing that, writing yeah, some code. Absolutely. Yeah, that'd be cool. That's always his excuse, right? You won't give him a real computer. He only gets the uh, the tablets. So yeah, that'd be cool. Excuse will go. It's very Inception esque. <laughs> um, so one of the other big announcements, which was really exciting, slightly less developer focused, but I think a lot of interest to a lot of people is the uh, music on demand or music all access. Oh, all yeah, access. I remember the name. Um, so. I gotta ask, what uh, what is your seed for your current radio stations? What track is uh, is, is generating your radio? Mumford and Sons for me right now. Yeah. I'm kind of into them right now. I don't know nice. about you, Hugo. Hugo. Uh, Some sort of Brazilian I, bossa nova thing. I have I have several different music personalities in, 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 in one. <laughs> what's what's your developer personality? I'd when you sit back and you start writing out some code, what uh, what do you put on them? I would say uh, probably Daft Punk. Yeah, yeah it, definitely that would be my seed and. Yesterday, I started a radio station with uh, with uh, Super Tramp Streamer. Nice. A little weird, right? Yeah. But yeah. <laughs> Keeping it real. I was <laughs> I was pleased they had Daft Punk playing in my session room before I went up on stage. So it was kind of the perfect way to start. Daft Punk seems to be an omnipresent theme here at IO. It's hard to get away from. Yeah. yeah. What's your scene? It's yeah, it's Daft Punk. Oh, the Daft Punk track. Yeah, I got lucky. I'm all about that right now. Um, perfect. So. Again, we've had a lot of really impressive numbers uh, around Android's growth. It seems like it's all really exploded over the last couple of years. People are asking me, you know, what is the future? How does the, the next phase of Android growth and development look? You want me to handle Okay. Well, I think, you know, it, it, we can talk about device growth, you know, the number of devices and things like that, but really what we want to focus on is business growth, you know, the opportunities for the developers out there. So as, as you saw today, or yesterday, I guess, yeah. a lot of our, and today and tomorrow, uh, <laughs> all week. You know, all, all week, yeah. Uh, our focus is going to be around how to make developers more efficient. This goes back to your first question about why are we doing an IDE? Well, we want you to be more efficient and, and, and more you know, tailored tools for you. And we want you to be more efficient so that you can run a more efficient business and things like that. So a lot of what we do, you know, Google Play services, also similar things, bringing the power of Google into your application. Uh, it's all about that, you know, making uh, developers more productive, making it a fruitful business for everyone. I think that's where the growth is going to be. Oh, very nice. And that uh, happens that tomorrow is uh, all about business. All the Google Play sessions are going to be on uh, all tomorrow. So uh, That's cool. There should be some really exciting stuff. For yeah. I was really, by the way, I was really excited by the uh, developer console stuff that Ellie showed well, yesterday, too. Yeah. That stuff is really cool. The yeah. translations and the stage rollouts and all that stuff. Yeah, it's been really impressive working with that team, you know, because we're on developer relations right on that cutting edge. And to see uh, Ellie and her team come in and really engage with developers and yeah. find out what do they want. Let, that they then get yelled at for a little while yeah, instead yeah, of yeah. me is kind of nice. nice. And they, they actually can do something about it, which is fantastic. Cool. So uh, it's, it's really exciting. How, how do you feel about all the things that you've been asking us to do for the last three years suddenly like starting to come to fruition? It's kind of nice. You're going to have to come up with some new ones. <laughs> yeah, exactly. absolutely. Yeah. I'm running out of there. Absolutely. I mean, that's why we've got uh, office hours upstairs. So I mean, it's, it's been great to finally be able to talk to some of the people who have come to IO year after year and uh, asking us these things. And we can finally say, well, yeah, actually, we launched it. Um, what else do you want? What else do people want? 
Well, what else do people want? They want all kinds of things. I think it's, it's really more along the same lines. You know, I think people want to have richer tools, particularly around design. I think that's yeah. one of the most exciting elements of Android yeah. right now and mobile and computing in general is trying to uh, move beyond apps which do what you want them to do and apps which are delightful and create yeah. this experience that yeah. people really love. Um, which leads me into another question. What are some of the uh, Android apps that you guys love from a design perspective? We have design all afternoon today. We're talking about design, telling people what they should be doing. Uh, do you have any apps that you've been playing with which really encapsulate that spirit of design that you'd like to call out? All the apps that I'm using right now are pre-release stuff that I'm really <laughs> excited about, but I probably shouldn't say I'll get in trouble. Uh, I'm really excited about a lot of the designs that are coming up. Yeah, sure. uh, the existing apps, I don't know, well, you, you're like a big yeah, app. You've always got the cool um, stuff. Yeah, 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 you're you're know, I'm a pretty big fan. Uh, I'm a pretty big fan of Currents. Uh, I'm a pretty big fan of the new music app with the yeah, new design. Access, yeah, absolutely. Uh, I'm uh, a pretty big fan uh, of Hangouts because yeah. it's very focused on just very quick messaging and things get out of the way, um, but still has some cool features like the parallax when you slide the Compose mm. uh, panel over the conversation uh, list. Um, but Play Store is my current number one. I'm, yeah. I'm actually completely <laughs> in love with the new Play Store experience, yeah. particularly uh, on my Nexus 7, actually. They've done a really great job there. I mean, you, you mentioned the Nexus, uh, the Nexus 7 as well. So I think, uh, you know, tablets are something which you know, represent a huge opportunity, I think, for developers. You know, are there any tips that you guys would use as, or would suggest as big tablet users for developers who are just sort of starting to make that transition into building apps for tablets? Some sort of guidance that you might want to suggest to them? Well, um, I would say, uh, first of all, uh, look, at, look at the data. Uh, yeah. it's pretty clear to everyone now that Android tablets are in a major tear. I mean, if you look at the data that we release, the data that comes from third parties, uh, it's pretty insane. Um, and the, the tablet explosion, curiously, is not US-centric, like the initial smartphone explosion was. It's actually happening all over the world. Um, so as a developer, I would uh, you know, think very carefully about the markets that I could go into first. But there are markets like um, Brazil, Mexico, Indonesia, where more than 50% of the tablets that are sold from what we hear are Android tablets. Mm -hmm. So clearly, uh, these are exploding markets. And in these countries, what's really interesting is that a tablet is actually sometimes the only computer that a person has. It's actually very common. Um, so I think there's a lot of opportunity there that developers aren't yet attuned to, and which I think they should take a closer look at. And, and really tactically, I think you know, following the tablet design guidelines, uh, you saw yesterday that we're starting to do some stuff Absolutely, with that now, yeah, we're, yeah. with the targeting where you know all apps are, are designed for tablets exactly. and Play Store. So Get following those guidelines, yeah, if you, uh, do the right thing. Exactly. So following those guidelines actually has some merit now. There's there's some benefit to you, <laughs> you can uh, as an app see developer. It. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so uh, I think uh, that's a really tactical thing that developers should start doing. Nice. I mean, so the transition has been from more and more powerful smartphones. We've started to see tablets. Um, so do you think we've kind of started to plateau now in terms of that rapid growth around mobile technology? Or do you think there's still more to come? Are we going to see new features in chipsets? Are we going to see new sorts of devices? Or are we, we kind of done now? we got phones and tablets. What do you think? I think we're just at the beginning, yeah. honestly. Like, I'm, <laughs> I'm excited about all the sensors that could be in your, you know, I think Larry talked about this we yesterday, did, yeah. right? Uh, all the sensors that could be combined and put into phones in a more battery efficient way, new kinds of use cases that we haven't even imagined yet. I don't know what they are. Now, that's Hugo's job to figure this stuff out. But uh, get the easy job. I think we're just, the yeah, I think we're just getting started. We're just getting started. You know, Sundar opened with some, some cool lines yesterday in his keynote uh, speech where you know, he was talking about 900 million Android devices uh, activated, but then 7 billion people in the world. Right? And you look at markets that are growing so quick, like India, for example, uh, he didn't specifically break out India, but India has less than 2% uh, of penetration from an Android perspective. Like, so less than two out of every 100 people actually have an Android. Uh, and, and it's a you know, booming economy, so it's obviously clear that that market is gonna do so well. Um, so we haven't even scratched the surface. I, I think it's probably the way to look at it from, your, from the point of view of growth uh, worldwide. Um, so I, I really think that there's a lot more to come. Yeah, there's, there's growth, but there's also, I think, technically, yeah. there's just so much more that could happen. Uh, you know, even just a few years ago, you couldn't have imagined some of the things we're doing today. Absolutely. I remember so, when, they, uh, when you guys put a barometer into the Zoom. Yeah, that's right. Like, that's interesting. Exactly. Um, so you see what developers can come up with more newer sensors, particularly some of the stuff around location has been really Yeah, really exactly. Exciting. And the Google Play services, those APIs, the location APIs that uh, Hugo so talked about. I think about. Uh, we're just about ready to wrap up. So I wanted to ask you, flip it around, go the other way. So we're talking about the future. Android's been around for about five years now thousands of devices. What's your, what's your all-time sentimental favorite Android device? 
For me, it's got to be the G1, the G1 because that's what started school. all. That's old school, <laughs> but that's what really started it. Uh, and uh, you know, it had that wacky sort of fold-out display, which was a real pain to build. And, <laughs> but ACC did a great job, I think. Absolutely. Um, and just a lot of sentimental value uh, for me. Uh, I don't know about you. Um, for me, it's got to be the Droid. Yeah. Droid. Droid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah cause that's when, when we... you know, that's when we came out with voice search and turn-by-turn uh, -turn navigations, navigations and all yeah. those cool things uh, in a really, really big way. So I think. To me, that was like the big water divider um, from an adoption perspective. I so remember uh, when we were dog fooding the uh, droid. So uh, you had you know, 100 people on the floor in, uh, in building 44, and uh, every every two seconds, droid, droid, yeah. droid. Yeah. Yeah, and for me it was the same, the Droid and the Nexus One, because I gave away a bunch of Nexus Ones at that point to developers to help you know, get them kick-started. So, uh, yeah, that has a special place in my heart. That's cool. All right. Well, thank you guys very much uh, for taking time out of your busy schedules to, uh, to chat to us on Google Developers Live. Congratulations again, and uh, good luck for Android in the future. Thank you. Likewise. Thank Thanks you for having us. Thank you.